I love this big board. Oh company. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a <laughs> big move back. at an office that could change the way a lot of Americans work. A tech company in Wisconsin is offering to implant implant tiny microchips into its employees. Not just no, but no. The chips, <laughs> the chips could allow people to unlock office doors, uh, make purchases. Rebecca, come on oh, here. We, so many questions about this, Robin so and Michael. Good morning. We asked a lot of them. This is the first American company to ever try this. One week from today, many of the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies, and they're calling it, I'm not kidding here, a chips and salsa party. Oh. <laughs> this morning, like a scene straight out of 007. So you can keep an eye on me? Employees at one Wisconsin tech company, Three Square Market, willingly making that fantasy a reality, implanting their own bodies with microchips. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. CEO Todd Westby, along with 50 of his 80 colleagues, even his wife and kids, preparing to implant these chips, the size of a grain of rice, between their forefingers and thumbs, so they can do everything from buy snacks in the break room to log in in the morning to unlocking doors with just the swipe of a hand. What did it take to persuade the holdouts? Basically, we had to explain to them there's no uh, tracking of the information. It's not GPS or anything like that. The radio frequency technology in the devices approved by the FDA will be inserted with a small needle by a licensed technician. Some internet experts warn that the convenience could come at a cost. Many things start off with the best of intentions, but sometimes intentions turn. We've survived thousands of years as a species without being microchipped. Is there any particular need to do it now? Participation is optional, and some are holding out. There's always the fear of infection, so it's the unknown right now. But many are excited to give the new technology a try. I think it's kind of cool. Just pop it up there and it'll work. <laughs> Just pop it okay. up there. It's that simple. So to give you a sense, here's a grain of rice. The chips will be inserted like this grain of rice right here between your thumb and your forefinger. And most of the employees have opted in. It is voluntary. One size fits all, I guess. Now, what, <laughs> what happens if you get the implant and then you're like, I don't want this anymore? So they told me, in case this happens, you pop it out. You literally push it out the way you would push a splinter out of your hand. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. 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 Okay. Are you on board? No. no. <laughs> <laughs>